and was the person working with the revolution in radiology in the past decades. She was the one who saw that we should go from analogic to digital when nobody else was thinking digitally. And because of that, the whole world was after Anne on what she was doing and what she was making research about. For the last almost 40 years, I've been in the professional area of digital radiographic imaging. The CT scanner for dentistry was um, put on the market about 20 years ago. And it's very important to provide research and guidelines for when to use this method because it has a much higher radiation burden to the patient than the traditional flat image methods that we used to use. And it's much more costly for the patient. Everybody in the dental team, if they have a one week education after the dental exam, then they can go and buy a CT scanner. And if we don't provide the guidelines for when to use it, when it really benefits the patient to use it, then they can use it for anything that they believe will be of benefit to them or for the patient. So that's why we have done for a number of years this type of research that for every diagnostic topic that the dentist will use for his patients, we would like to show him when is this method better than the traditional method. She's pretty much one of the most well-known names in radiology uh, worldwide. Actually, it's funny because I have to explain people all the time that I sit close to her, that I know where she has coffee in the morning. So she's like a radiology star. So it's funny that people visit Aarhus and if she's not here, which is rare, but when she's not here, people actually take pictures of her office door because they want to see where she sits. So I think it's very interesting to see how a researcher can be that famous and that important for the community. And, and I think that's and 